Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equations with variable questions. So let's get going. Problem. Solve 3x squared into d squared y by dx squared plus x into dy by dx plus y equals to x. So we are given a differential equation with variable equations. Now we are going to reduce this to a differential equation with constant equations by making some substitution. Okay. Given differential equation. Three x squared d squared y by dx squared plus x into dy by dx plus y equal to x. We know that d is a differential operator with independent variable x. Then d square will be d squared by dx squared. Right. Now we can write the above equation as three x squared into d squared y plus x d y plus y equal to x. Now take y common from all the three terms of LHS, we'll get 3x squared d squared plus xd plus 1 into y equal to x, which is a Cauchy's equation. Now let's make the substitution. Put x equals to e power z. Then log x to the base equals to z for x greater than 0. Let theta equals to d by dz. Here theta is a differential operator with independent variable z. Then xd equals to theta. And x squared d squared equals to theta of theta minus 1. Now we'll replace x squared d squared by theta of theta minus 1 and xd by theta and x by e power z in the above equation. Now this equation becomes 3 into replace x squared d squared by theta of theta minus 1 plus replace x d by theta plus 1 into y equal to replace x by e power z. Then 3 theta squared minus 3 theta into 1 3 theta plus theta plus 1 into y equal to e power z then 3 theta square minus 3 theta plus theta is minus 2 theta plus 1 into y equal to e power z which is a differential equation with constant equations and also this is an operator form f of theta into y equals to some function of z which is an operator form f of theta into y equals to function of z, right? Where f of theta equals to 3 theta square minus 2 theta plus 1. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. So first we will find yc using our auxiliary equation and later we will go for yp. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of theta 3 theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 let's replace theta differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equals to 3m square minus 2m plus 1. Now the auxiliary equation becomes 3m square minus 2m plus 1 equals to 0. Now we need to find roots of this auxiliary equation. Now let's find roots using quartic formula. m equals to minus minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Now compare this quartic formula with am square plus bm plus c equals to 0. Okay, compare the above equation with quartic equation in m. You'll get a equals to 3, b equals to minus 2, and c equals to 1. Now coming to m, we'll find roots now. 
minus of minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 whole square minus 4 3 into 1 by 2 into 3 this is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 4 3 is a 12 by 2 3 is a 6 which is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 12 is minus 8 by 6 right then m equals to 2 plus or minus square root of we are having minus 8 under square root right we will just split minus 8 as minus 1 into 8 by 6 is equals to 2 plus or minus square root of minus 1 into square root of 8 by 6 since we know that square root of minus 1 is i then this becomes 2 plus or minus i into and also write 8 as 4 into 2. Here itself you can split 8 as can split here 8 as 4 into 2. Again split square root of 4 into square root of 2 as square root of 4 into square root of 2. Right? This equals to 2 plus or minus i into square root of 4 is 2 into root 2 by 6. Now take 2 common from the numerator. We will get 2 times 1 plus or minus i into root 2 by 6. 2 1s are 2 3s are. This equals to 1 by 3 plus or minus i into root 2 by 3. A pair of complex conjugate roots. Right? Therefore, m equal to 1 by 3 plus or minus i into root 2 by 3. Fine. We know that a plus iv is a complex number. Then its conjugate is a minus iv. If a minus iv is a complex number, its conjugate will be a plus iv. So we can call m equals to a plus or minus iv as a pair of complex conjugate roots. Right? If m equals to a plus or minus iv, then yc looks like e power a z into c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz. Now coming to a complementary function. y c equals to e power for a equals to 1 by 3 we will get 1 by 3 into z into c1 cos b root 3 by 2 sorry root 2 by 3 z plus c2 sine root 2 by 3 z this becomes e power z by 3 into c1 cos root 2 z by 3 plus c2 sine root 2 z by 3. Now we are having yc in terms of z right but we need to write in terms of x. For that purpose we will just write e power z by 3 as e power z whole power 1 by 3 because we have to replace e power z by x and z by log x in the next step. Okay. Into c1 cos root 2 z by 3 plus c2 sine root 2 z by 3. Okay. Now yc becomes replace e power z by x. We will get x power 1 by 3 into c1 cos root 2 replace z by log x we'll get root 2 log x by 3 plus c2 sin root 2 log x by 3 so these are required yc now let's go for yp particular integral Y 
y p equals to 1 by f of theta into q of z. So we'll find y p using 1 by f of theta into q of z. We have f of theta and q of z where f of theta is 1, sorry, 3 theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 and q of z is e power z, right? And this is of 1 by f of theta into e power a z form. We have f of theta, 3 theta square minus 2 theta plus 1, right? Now compare e power z with e power a z. Then for a equals to 1, we'll find f of a which is equals to f of 1. Just replace theta by 1. We'll get 3 times 1 square minus 2 into 1 plus 1 which is equals to 3 minus 2 plus 1 which is equals to 3 plus 1 4 minus 2 equals to 2 which is non-zero since f of 1 is non-zero always remember that the denominator must be non-zero if the denominator becomes zero we'll get 1 by 0 into e power z right something like this since 1 by 0 is undefined so total term becomes undefined so always the denominator must be non-zero fine now this becomes 1 by 3 into just replace 1 by sorry theta by 1 we'll get 3 into 1 square minus 2 into 1 plus 1 into e power z which is equals to 1 by 3 minus 2 plus 1 into e power z right which is equals to 1 by 3 plus 1 4 4 minus 2 into e power z which is equals to 1 by 4 minus 2 2 into e power z now we are having yp in terms of z right but we need to write in terms of x so what we'll do we'll just replace e power z by x okay then this becomes 1 by 2 into x and we can write 1 by 2 into x as x by 2 so this is our required y p therefore y p equals to x by 2 now we are having yc and yp let's write the general solution the general solution is given by y equal to yc plus yp right then y equals to x power 1 by 3 into c1 cos of root 2 log x by 3 plus c2 sine of root 2 log x by 3 plus yp plus x by 2. This is our required solution. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation with constant questions in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. So we have seen a problem from variable questions, not constant questions. Okay, bye.